What's going on guys? Patrick here with Kevin Avery. Showing him how to do this whole right. vlogging thing. We're gonna go down to New York City tonight. I'm gonna show Kevin around the city. I'm gonna show him all the hot spots. I'm gonna take you guys along for that action. And uh, we'll see what happens. So, you never know. Kevin! Stay tuned. <laughs> Grand Central, baby. Psychic work, guys. Me and Patrick are gonna go get a reading, figure out what we need to trade before we trade it, you know? So what are we eating tonight? Yeah, a couple of options. A couple of options. We're gonna see kind of what the weight is in a couple different places. What's up with those poles, man? We're not, in, poles. we're not in North Carolina, Kevin. You gotta watch out where you're walking, my friend. It's crazy, guys. You know, you, I'm used to North used Carolina. To wide open fields, yeah. cows. That's what I'm used to. You waking grass. up, milking some cows. That sort of Riding deal. Riding the John Deere tractor around. Right, yeah. All right, so we went to Keens. There was an hour and a half long wait. I don't wait an hour and a half for anything. You know, we should have slipped them a, a Benny. Yeah, no, that would have been. Maybe it was like a 30 minute wait, could have slipped a Benny, but for the hour and a half, that's like a solid couple of Benny's. Situation so basically, anything to good to eat is going to be a wait, but the question is how long is the wait going to be? And like I said, I don't wait an hour and a half for anything. I'll eat Chick fil A if I have to. Hey, we can always eat for free. It's wild, Patrick wild keeps west. getting us lost, guys. The jungles in New York are getting. Yeah, hey, I'm trying to get you to explore every street in. That's right. All the streets and all the avenues. That's true. So, really quick for you to so you know in the future if you get, if you get lost here in New York, the streets run east to west, the avenues go north and south. Now you know that. I already forgot. Yeah. This is the. This is my spot. Your spot. Last time I came here, set in the same exact spot. No lie, didn't plan it like that. All right, we had dinner. We had dinner. Had a couple beers. Had a couple beers. Did some business. You guys know what we do. Handle some business here in New York. Oh yeah. We got Mickey Mouse here. I'm trying to get my boy here a little tan with all these lights. Oh you know, yeah, I got to put LED some sunscreen burn. on. Yeah. Put some sunscreen on. I'm feeling a little burn actually. I can see you already get a little bit tanner, you know. <laughs> We were right in the middle of it all, right in the Oculus. All right, Patrick, here we are, the streets of New York. Did you ever imagine you would be on Wall Street making deals with some of the you know top people in the stock trading industry? Basically, I had no idea, but I did know that if I worked hard, if I put in the effort, if I did something that was worth you know, talking about in the first place, then there's opportunities, you know? And opportunity always comes to people who put in the effort, put in the work, and go out of the way to do something uh, that's meaningful. Not that I'm doing something that's meaningful by any means, but if you put in the effort, you put in the work, you get results. Let's rewind a few years. Back when you were 20, what advice would you give to 20-year-old Mr. Patrick Wheeler? Do everything just like you did it. So Patrick, what, what gets you up in the morning? What motivates you each and every day to money. be doing what you're doing? Money? Money. Money. Would you money. say that money brings you happiness? No. What brings you happiness? What brings you joy? What makes Patrick The happy? things that money buys. All right, there's a lot of traders out there who are stuck, Patrick. You know, they've been trading. They might be working. They're younger, 20s or so and they just need some tips you know what are some habits that they can start doing now that are going to really prepare them for just a great future ahead well, that's a that's a big question kevin hey I think we, the, the best thing you can do for beginner day trader is just focusing on not losing money i tell people this all the time it's it sounds counterproductive because you're like oh i want to get rich trading but the chance of you getting rich trading there's probably a better chance of me growing wings and flying away, which would be pretty cool, but not gonna happen. So, at the end of the day, when you first start trading, the biggest thing you need to focus on is not losing money. Preserving capital. Yeah, mental, because here's what happens, right? When you first start trading, you get you get cocky, because you're like, oh, this is easy, right? You make a couple good trades. Like, my first trade I ever made was $600 of profit. That's good. And I thought I was the king of the world. 
thought it was easy. I thought I could just trade, make money, and get rich, blah, 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 blah. But I found out pretty quickly that the biggest thing was if I was taking a big loss, if I was losing a lot of money, that it wasn't so much about losing the money, it was so much about losing that, that mental capital, you know, losing confidence that I could make money. So every time I got into a trade, I'd become emotional in the sense that I would end up selling too early or holding losers because every trade was like this, you know, emotional roller coaster. So you gotta eliminate the emotions. How do traders do that? Emotions, and I think the biggest the way to do that really is to stop yourself from taking major losses. Yeah. If you think of major loss over and over and over, it just haunts you. You know, every time right. you trade, it haunts you. And you're always thinking about it. You're always like, I'm gonna do this, do this. You really gotta get out of that mindset. All right, traders, that is going to wrap up the video from New York City. Guys, go ahead and hit that like button. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. We had a lot of fun just hanging out in the streets of New York, doing some trading talk, doing some vlogs, having a little bit of fun here and there. There's going to be a link in the description below for Patrick's YouTube channel. You guys should already be following him, though. He's already made a video from New York, and he's going to have more coming out. So, traders, go ahead and check that out. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys tomorrow.